your body is still going to be the same body. Emotions still come and go. You still have to pay your mortgage or your rent. So in the utter world, nothing changes. Maybe some changes happen. It's your relationship and perception to the utter world that shifted, that you've become free from that. You're not going to be transported to another star system. You're still here on this planet. But all of a sudden, this planet appears differently to you. It looks differently. It's no longer hostile. All of a sudden, it becomes a natural flow for you. What was suffering before, it becomes joy. It becomes very easy to deal with it. Because you're no longer perceiving things from this point of view of separation. You see it all as your own self. Everything is your own self. And slowly you begin to see your shadows, your dark sides. You're willing to recognize that because and admitting it. They're not going to be pushed underneath, especially with spiritual conditioning that we're experiencing today. You're starting to expand and seeing your dark side and your light side and everything else. Surrender starts to take over. You're surrendering to life, surrendering to what is rather than how it should be. Because right now you think life should be in a certain way. It's not good the way it is because it's not in your way you think it should be. You begin to surrender to it. And as you surrender into it, gratitude comes. You become very grateful of everything you have. It's not going to be boring. Not having free will, it's not going to be boring. It's freedom. A lot of pressure is off of you because you no longer have to prove this thing all the time that you can do it. You become the flow and if it wants to do it through you, it will do it through you very easily like this in a second because it's infinite. An infinite has the ability to do whatever it wants at any moment and be anything it wants. So if it wants to transform you in a second into a scientist or to a genius or to an whatever it wants or hook you up with your lover or twin flame or the man of your life or the woman of your life, it can do it at any moment it wants, at any moment beyond your imagination. If it wants to make you very rich, you become very rich. If it wants to make you poor, it will make you poor. If it wants to make you healthy and vibrant, immediately that will happen. It will do whatever it wants to do to you. 
but you're surrendered to it. You're not resisting it anymore. You're free. And in that freedom, there's gratitude of every single moment of life. I was riding my bicycle on Sunday on the boardwalk, Santa Monica, Venice, Santa Monica. It was very busy. A lot of people were out there. And I'm riding my bicycle and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I am so lucky. I mean, I literally had tears coming down my eyes, riding a bicycle on a boardwalk. Simple thing, nothing fancy. I wasn't in a jet flying over Los Angeles. I wasn't in a balloon. I wasn't in a powerboat. I wasn't dri driving a Ferrari going 150 miles. I was riding a bicycle, an older bicycle. And I was like, oh my God, how lucky I am. My knees are working, my body's working. I can ride a bicycle. My body is allowing me to ride a bicycle. Wow, I can still do it. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it tomorrow, but right now I can. Then the sun was shining. It was like, wow, I have sunshine in this day. Very simple thing. And I was in complete gratitude of it. And how lucky I am I can do this when maybe millions of people around the world can't do what I'm doing. A simple thing. Simplicity. Simply riding a bicycle, breathing the air, smelling the aroma, having the wind coming to your face, the sun, and just being alive in this moment, being able to use your senses, being able to feel presence in this moment, the union with God, feeling God inside you, feeling this love which is here. You don't have to do anything for it. It's already here. All you do is recognize it. And you're not listening to this one because this one was saying, oh, Zarathustra, what are you doing here? You should be in Ibiza right now. You should be on a big boat where the party is, you should be da 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 da. You should be doing something else. You should have more. This is not enough. That's what your mind is gonna tell you. You should be with blah, blah, blah. Love of your life right now, hand in hand, walking. Your mind will go to these places because this is not good enough in this moment, it should be something else. It will play those tricks. But when you have gone beyond your mind into the presence in this moment, it's again a perception, it's a shift in the way you look at things. Then all of a sudden, every moment of life it becomes precious and becomes unique, including your darkness, including your light, 